Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back for the Wind Dinosaurs tier list. The Dinosaur King tier list that is. And this time, as I just said, we are doing Wind Dinosaurs. This is going to be an interesting one because obviously Wind Dinosaurs, are, I, I know them quite well. You know, obviously with the Mega Miss Megs and stuff, Mega Raptors, stuff like that. I know the Wind Dinosaurs quite well and we obviously, and I obviously just did the Wicked Wind one where the Sejuangosaurus surprisingly won. So yeah, this is going to be... A good tier list. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of surprises in this tier list. And the one thing that stands out mo most for me with regards to the wind dinosaurs is their crits. Their crits seem to do very high damage for a lot of them. There's very few of them that are actually more round, well rounded. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started. And well, we might as well start with Ace. Ace, let's have a look at your stats. Okay, Ace is one of the more rounded ones. Pretty decent stats. Super Blitz type, which is, well, obviously good if you're just using it in general. Not good if you're using it in one of the, my tournaments. Would I say, out of the anime dinos, which I, which uh, which I'm just referring to this, the the uh, anime six Chomp Age Paratery Spiny Tank, I'd say Ace is one of the worst ones. If I if I'm honest, I'm sorry, Ace lovers. I know you love Ace. I'm gonna put it in low B. I don't think Ace is too amazing. Okay, now for the one that will probably be a controversial one. The Allosaurus Atrox. Now, Allosaurus Atrox is actually interesting because it has the highest base damage out of all the dinosaurs in this game. Well, except for Sorophaganax, which has 960 crit, but Sorophaganax is super attack type. Of course, with the Sorophaganax, they were, it, it, its super attack type printing was the only vi version of it, so it's... A, it's it's one of those ones you can choose to count it, you can choose to not. I choose not to count it because it its crit gets boosted by its battle type, even though it is the only printing of it. So yeah, I would still say Allosaurus Atrox holds the crown for the highest base crit of 950. However, the biggest problem for Atrox is that its crit is wrong, and moves like Mayfly and especially Hurricane Beat are paper and scissors respectively. So Allosaurus Atrox is going to have a hard time using those two moves, which is, which in all due respects, are pretty much better than Biting Wind. Of course, even with that inability to use those two moves, Biting Wind will still pack a punch on this guy, so it's one of those ones where his crit is so high that you can't really say it's bad. I would say out of the gold, because of how much, put it this way, all the wind gold dinosaurs are really, really good. Carnotaurus, Megaraptor, Aloatrox, all really, really good. So out of the three, I would actually say, I would say Atrox is definitely the worst, but I think it deserves to be a low A. And put it this way, Carnotaurus and Megaraptor are two of, two of the best golds in the game. Just put it that way. That's the competition that Atrox has to live with. If it was in one of the, if it had a different element, if it was one of the other, in the other categories, it would probably be one of the best golds out of that category. But unfortunately, it has the distinction of being in a category with Carnotaurus and Megaraptor and both of them are beastly. But anyway, that's enough about Alf. Aloatrop. Let's move on to the Alpha Dilophosaurus. Alpha Dilophosaurus has defense type, poison type, has a crit of scissors. It's actually one of the more balanced wind dinosaurs. Decent technique. Well, it has really good techniques. It's a thousand. Alpha Dilophosaurus, a solid thousand strength dino. It's not eight. Well, it's not amazing by any stretch of the, ma of the imagination, and it's not on par with Ace, but it's a B tier. It's not garbage. It's definitely a good dino. All right, now for well. The Allosaurus Fragilus. You know, the Allosaurus that we're more familiar with. Let's have a look at your stats, my friend. You are... Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there you are. Scissors Crit, which already beats out Allosaurus Atrox in terms of the crit. 680. Hurricane Beat gives a boost of 500, so this will move up to 1180 if you use Hurricane Beat, which I think would actually beat Atrox with Bite and Wind. Maybe not. No, 1250, I think. It'll be for Atrox with Bite and Wind. 1250, 1300. So yeah, Alice Fragilus would still fall short of that. But the fact that his crit is scissors already makes it an instant win. A uh, well-rounded strength technique. In fact, a lot of the 1400 strength dinos, they're more the all-rounders in this game. And because they're all-rounders, they tend to be really good. And Allosaurus is no exception. Allosaurus is definitely a decent one. I'd say it's better than Ace. If I'm honest, I think it's better than Ace. Uh, what battle types do you have? Tie type, Blitz type, Charge type, and Warning type. So you definitely want to tie with this guy, which means you want to use Sonic Blast, which is awesome because it's crit as I said, it's crit scissors, so you can still use Hurricane Beam. So yeah, Allosaurus is a pretty solid dinosaur. I don't think it deserves A tier, but it's definitely a high B, and you could argue a case of putting it in A tier. Again, I don't think, I think it just falls short of eight. And I, I mean just. All right, now for Gojirasaurus. Well, it's S tier, isn't it? It's just the beast. It's, you know, it's huge, you know, huge. Got the atomic breath. It's in basically hard to it. It's got health tank. It can pack a punch. Wait, what? 
Oh, 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 I thought, I thought you meant, I thought they meant, I thought you meant Go Gojira, not Gojirasaurus. Okay, Gojirasaurus, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Gojirasaurus. A decent crit for a thousand strength dinosaur. Unfortunately, its crit is rock. I believe it is a charge type, so as good synergy with Sonic Blast. Is it better than, I think it's worse than Alpha Dilophosaurus. I think Alpha Dilophosaurus is actually better than, I don't think Gojirasaurus is that great at all. If I'm brutally honest. I wouldn't, it's not, as I said, it's not garbage. In fact, pretty much 90%, 90, 90% of these dinosaurs in the whole franchise are not garbage. But it's not amazing. So yeah, a low B for me. A low B. It's not bad enough to be in C tier. <laughs> Alright, now for the easy one. Ace, Dino Tector, S tier. You know, again, despite it being rock crit. I'd probably say, as I, with, as I said with normal Ace, one of the, one of the worst, armor, worst armor dinosaurs. But, you know, it's S tier, because armor dinosaurs are beasts. And like the um, grass tier, let's be a bit more lenient with what to put into S tier, because there's only one armor dinosaur, and that's Ace. And maybe some of these wind dinosaurs might make S tier. All right, now for Neovenaton. <laughs> oh, 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 Neovenator gets hyped up in the Discord server. Let's have a look at your stats, my friend. Well, it's paper crit, pretty solid. Has an attack type variant, which is really, really good. Hunter type variant, which is crap and a crisis type variant which can be pretty deadly. So it has good usage with Mayfly and it has, again, like Allosaurus, is well-rounded in terms of its HP and technique. Is Neovenator better than Allosaurus? That's a tough one because I think purely based on the attack type, I would I would say Neovenator edges out Allosaurus. And because of it, I'm gonna put it in low A. I think it just deserves an A spot. As I said, Allosaurus is could arguably go into A as well, but I do think Neovenator is slightly better, so for that reason, because it's slightly better than Allosaurus, in my opinion, it's going to go into A tier. Very low A tier, I should say. Alright, now for the regular Dilophosaurus, which has quite a lot of types. Defense type, counter type, blitz type, and tie recovery type. Four pretty decent types. So Dilophosaurus des definitely has versatility to it. It's, I'd say, it's better than his Alpha Dilo counterpart. And I would, yeah, I, I, I'd put it by there. Decent thousand strength Dino. Again, you know, it lacks it lacks a health buck bolt, and it does lack a little bit of oomph in the attack because it's more well rounded, which is kind of bad on a um, weaker dinosaur because the attacks are, will be weak so we on thing on the gold on like stronger dinosaurs like you are Placephalus for example you get away with it more because its attacks are better and it has attack type so it pumps up the attack even more things like Dilophosaurus having balanced stats is not the greatest thing in the world it's not bad but it's not the greatest oh, I, I'm gonna save you for last I, I know I'm naughty, I'm naughty but I'm, I'm gonna save Megaraptor for last ooh because I got a, a long discussion regarding that beast all right now speaking of beasts we got Pianitskisaurus now, this one may surprise a lot of people, but you look at his stats, very good scissors crit for a 1200er. I believe it has a thousand technique, and don't quote me on that, I, I'm not, I'm gonna double check real quick. I do believe it has a thousand technique. If it does, well, it, it will affect where I put it. Okay, where are you, Piantinskisaurus? You are here, then get it out. Yeah, it does have a thousand technique. So yeah, Piantinskisaurus, and it, and it's, has the unique disposition of actually being a poison type without being a alpha or space pirate dino. That's very unique. To be honest, I would have liked to have seen it as a secret dinosaur, to be honest. You know, just to have the um, poison moves. That would have been interesting to see, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm sure they just needed another wind dinosaur, so they just chucked him in. But, you know, for something that was just basically chucked into the wind category, it's actually really good. And it's in the same boat as Lexovasaurus. It really is. And for that reason, I'm going to put it over there. I do think it is that good. I, d I genuinely think that, that Piantnitskisaurus is that good. It is on par with Lexovasaurus and how good it is in terms of the 1200 strength die. I do genuinely believe that. All right, now for Alpha Allosaurus. Now, Alpha Allosaurus is interesting because it is actually very well balanced for a wind dinosaur. And based, I'm looking at the stats, you know, like, it's kind of like Majungasaurus, but Alpha Allosaurus, I'd say it's the most balanced wind dinosaur in terms of its attack. That bodes well for it because it actually has decent strength and attack as, total attack as well. It has poison types and I think it's paper paper type. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in A tier. It has decent versatility to it, and I, I think it edges out Atrox. I think the Alpha Allosaurus, out of all the Allosaurus variants, the Alpha Allo, I think, is the best one. I genuinely think that. Actually, no, no. I'd say Atrox edges it out, because 
I just realized that Atrox does have does have a lucky seven type which buffs it buffs its technique which is good because it has a poultry technique of 200. Yeah I'm gonna say Atrox edges it out. Okay now for Uteraptor now this one may well may or may not surprise you depends on your opinion. Again Uteraptor decent you know quite solid stats a very solid silver dinosaur it has an attack type variant a blunder type variant a defense type variant and a hunter type variant so Uteraptor definitely has a lot of versatility to it and i'm gonna put it by there i do think there's a genuinely strong wind dinosaur and out of all the silver dinosaurs for the wind dinosaurs I, it's definitely the best well it with the exception of super madungasaurus but you know that's a super dinosaur but yeah out of all the 1800s i think this guy's the best one out of the wind dinosaurs Uteraptor definitely strong and I can definitely see why people use it in my tournaments a lot because it is reliable. It's very good. A very good dinosaur. Right, now for Sinraptor. Now Sinraptor is an interesting one because it has heroic type and defense type so you kind of focus on more resilience of this guy. Would I say he's as good as Allosaurus and Neovenator? I would say no and I... It's, it suffers the same thing that Ace has and the fact that it's a rock crit. And in fact, it, it has slightly less attack than Ace, but it has the same crit. And I do believe Ace has only like 100 less technique than... So yeah, Sign Raptor can go below Ace. I don't think it's too amazing and one of the weaker 1400 dinos in this game. Right the ho now for the Carnotaurus. As I'm sure as I meant, I'm sure you re remember what I said earlier about the Carnotaurus and, and it being beastly. And it is genuinely beastly. We have an attack type variant, a heroic type variant and a crisis type variant so three useful battle types. The fact that his crit is scissors is is an absolute killer for it. It's amazing for the Carno. You boost this up with the attack type version it goes up to 950. On top of hurricane beat it goes 1450 which is insanely powerful. Insanely good. And for that reason I could argue putting it into S tier. I really could. But again I think it does fall short on the technique. The technique is pretty much the only reason why Carnotaurus is not going into S. But it is an absolute beast. And if you think this guy's beastly, wait till you see what Megaraptor will be. Okay, now for Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus. Again, it does suffer a bit because its crit is rock and it has a quite a high crit. So it does suffer from that. It has tie type, crisis type and heroic type variants. A lot of crisis and heroic types among the wind dinosaurs I've noticed. I don't think it's too amazing. Again, it suffers the same thing that Ace suffers with the fact that his crit is rock, but because his crit does more damage than Ace, Ace is more rounded and Ace does have more technique than it. I'm going to put Ceratosaurus by... I'm going to put it by here. I think it does edge out Sinraptor, but I think Ace does edge out the Ceratosaurus as well. Okay, now for you Streptospondylus. You Streptospondylus might be an interesting one because we have Crisis type, Paper Paper type, and Defense type version. You Streptospondylus has a Scissors crit, but it's a very balanced wind dinosaur as well. And does it have the lowest crit? No, Alpha Dilophosaurus has the lowest crit. It's kind of like a better Dilo to a degree. I'm going to put it by here. Here. Yeah, it's kind it's kind of just a better version of the Dilo. Well, a more tanky version of the Dilo. Not by much, but a only a little bit. Okay, now for Lillian Sternus. Now, Lillian Sternus has heroic types and defense types. So, a lot of defense types among the wind dinosaurs as well, which is interesting. You know, the, looking at the attack stats, you think they're more focused on attack than defense, but oh well. Uh, pretty rounded stats as you can see 600 for the crit which is pretty decent for a thousander and only 400 attack for the other attack in the end sternus you know is yeah i think it edges out these two but i don't think it edges out the dilo i probably say a lot of these thousand strength wind dinos are on par with each other it's just that gojirasaurus falls short because it has a rock crit and that's basically it and these three you know they're pretty balanced on power of each other. Can't really separate them too much. You know, you could argue maybe Lillian Sternus above these two because it does have slightly more technique, but I feel like the regular Dilo has better versatility to it. And it does have a scissors crit, which is to a degree the best crit you can have. In terms of the wind moves you would want to use, um, Cyclone can be decent. Dino Illusion is like the best. Dino Illusion is definitely the best win move, in my opinion. Obviously, Hurricane Beat for the pack in the punches, and Mayfly as well. Uh, Sonic Blast is quite good as well. But yeah, Dino Illusion is the big one. That's the one you really want on a wind dinosaur. That's a good, really good move, which is why certain dinos with rock crit suffer a bit, because they you if you want to power up your crit, you don't want to use something like Dino Illusion on your crit if you're Allosaurus Atrox. You want... You want to buff up that crit as much as possible, in a way. But anyway, enough about that. On with to Majungasaurus. Now, again, Majungasaurus has the unfortunate disposition of being a rock crit, but to me, it's just a better ace. 
It's just a better version of Ace, and it does have Char type counter type, which is good synergy with Hurricane Beat. You know, if it if they had a Scissors Crep and Char type, which is good for Sonic Blast. Majungasaurus doesn't have too bad technique. Again, it's just a better Ace in my opinion. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up there. I don't think it's too amazing, but it's, it's just a better version of Ace. Okay, now for Delta Dromius. Delta Dromius actually has the luck of being a scissor, having a Scissors Crep. Its crit isn't too high compared to all the other Wind Dinosaurs. We have. Blitz types and charge types, so you definitely want to use Sonic Blast on this guy. Definitely more the attacking minded dino. Do I think, well, for a start, I think it's better than Ace and Ceratosaurus, so it's going to go above there. I think it edges out Majungasaurus as well. Does it edge out Allosaurus for me? Allosaurus does have slightly better crit and slightly more versatility to it. I'm going to. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to put it up there. I think Allosaurus does just edge it out. But Delta Dromia is definitely a good bronze dinosaur. Right, now for Monolophosaurus. Again, Monolophosaurus has the unfortunate side effect of being a rock crit. Although, its, move, its stats are quite balanced. Oh, oops. So that is, that is something in its favour. Monolophosaurus has defence type, crisis type and heroic type. So yeah, that's pretty good for the mono. Pretty solid 1200 strength dino. Is it better than you Streptospondylus? I would say on the crits, I'd say no. Yeah, I'd say no. Even though Monolophosaurus does have slightly more total attack, I'd say you Streptospondylus does edge it out a little bit. Would I say mono... Actually, I put it, I put it up there. I don't think it's as good as Dino. I think Dino's actually better. Right, now for a Frovenator. Now a Frovenator is an absolute beast because it has 850 crit and it can use Mayfly and it definitely packs a punch. And in fact, I think, does it have the highest base crit out of all the wind dinosaurs? In terms of paper anyway, I think it does. Yeah, 850. That's the highest base crit out of um, all the wind dinosaurs that have paper as a critical move. So that's definitely good for a Frovenator. Has reform type, which, you know, kind of a more of a roulette type because it only sometimes activates. But yeah, a Frovenate, they're pretty decent bronze dinosaur. Where it falls short, I feel like it does lack a little bit of versatility. Is it better than Delta Dromius? I would say no. Is it better than Ace and Ceratosaurus? I would say yes. Yeah, I'm going to put it up there. I think it's a very good dinosaur. Definitely a good bronze. Is it as good as Delta Dromius? No. Actually, it's interesting. So far, no bronzes have made A tier. And I think in all the tier list videos I've done so far, there's been at least one or two bronzes up here. And there's been none so far. It's really surprising. Of course, I think we got, well, we got Rugops left. Okay, now for Indosuchus. Indosuchus is one of the dice I don't really know much about. Strength type, which has good synergy with Mayfly. Actually, yeah, that's really good synergy with Mayfly strength type because your next move gets stronger and Mayfly gets triggered after you win. And Indosuchus has a paper crit, which does a decent amount of damage, so... Good synergy with Mayfly there. So yeah, maybe Indosuchus is underrated. I'd say it's definitely better than Sinraptor. Is it better than Allosaurus? I don't think it's as good as Neovenator because Neovenator has, well, the attack type, which makes it hit like a truck. Is it better? I'd say it's better than Allosaurus. Or I'd say but there. I think, it's, I think it's a decent dinosaur, actually, looking at it. Looking at it from the outside, I think it's a decent dinosaur. Yeah, I'm going to put it up there. You know, I, <laughs> oh, it's a tough one because, you know, it's... I'd say all these guys are on par with each other. Yeah, I'm going to put it with it. I think these two edge it out a bit. And well, Delta Dromius has more hit, more health. I think it has more attack. And it has more technique than this guy as well. Oh, let's have a look. 1550. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, no. Indosuchus has more total attack. But Delta Dromius has this more health and more technique. And like 50 less attack, which you hardly notice. And the same for the Afrovenator. Afrovenator has more, you know, 50. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much right. <laughs> Together in the end. Okay, now for Fukui Raptor. Fukui Raptor, very good paper crit for a 1200er. Huh? Is it as good, good as Pianitskisaurus? No. Tie type, Blitz type, you know, good good synergy with Sonic Blast. But again, you know, because it has a decent crit, you kind of want to, it screams for you to use Mayfly or Tornado Toss. So you don't really want to use Sonic Blast. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it, ab I'm actually put it above Sign Raptor. I think it's actually pretty decent. Fukui, Fukui Raptor, good dinosaur. A dinosaur. Okay then, now for Sejuangosaurus, the winner of the Wicked Wind Tournament, amazingly. Unfortunately, it does have the disposition of having a rock crit, but you know, his stats are quite low. Well, more rounded than low, because it does have, does pack a punch with 1500 total attack. The Sejuangosaurus is, has a revival type version, and I don't actually know what its other battle type is. Is it better than Dilophosaurus? I'd say no. Is it better than Lillian Sternus? Again, I'd say no. Is it better than Gojirasaurus? I would say... I'd say yes, it's more rounded actually. Yeah, it's more rounded. I'd say it's better than Gojirasaurus. Poor Gojirasaurus at the bottom there. 
worst wind dinosaur. Well, it's going to be the worst wind dinosaur based on all these lot. Alright, now for Rugops. Now, Rugops is an absolute monster. No, it's basically... Well, it has the exact same stats as a Frovenator, but... It's great as scissors, which makes it crit more useful than a Frovenator's because it can use Hurricane Beam. And it has Tide Defense type and Warning type, which are two decent types, and I'd say they're better battle types than the Frovenator. So for that reason, and I feel like Rugops is basically a better Allosaurus, it's going into A tier. And I would say, up here, I think it does edge a really strong bronze dinosaur, and definitely the best bronze dinosaur out of the wind dinosaurs. All right, now for the super dinos. Again, this will be pretty straightforward because they're all pretty much on par with each other. Okay, super ace, super ace, you know, super ace is pretty decent, more rounded. Again, it suffers the same thing that regular ace does. The fact that it's crit is rock, not, not too great. But again, you know, it's a super dinosaur, so you kind of lose that battle type variation. And it does get this technique when it's in awaken mode, but I think a high A, high A tier for it, super ace. Okay, now for super carno. Again, you know, if can't I said it earlier, if the Carnotaurus had slight, slightly more technique, it could go into S tier. So with the Awaker mode, Super Carnotaurus would be going into S tier if I can get it in there. It's not as good as uh, Ace Di Dino Tector. All right, now for Super Ceratosaurus. Well, no, no, re real quick, arg no real argument here. You could basically look at the regular counterparts to base on where I'm going to put these guys, and this guy's going to go just above, just below A. Super Serum, a solid Super Dinosaur, but again, you know, not as good as Ace. Alright, now for Super Lillian Sternus. Now, Super Lillian Sternus is interesting because it already has a thousand technique. Well, it has 1100 technique, so the double in the technique doesn't really help it as much as it would with these three. And it gains double attack, which definitely helps it out. But, I'm, so it's, I'm going to put it by here, yeah. I don't think it's too great. And one of the weaker Super Dinosaurs out of all of them, to be honest. Right, now for Super Majungasaurus. Now, Super Majungasaurus, again, you know, is basically just a better Ace than a better Serato. So, and it does have good technique. So, I think it deserves to be S tier. A very low S tier. I do think it deserves that. Right, now for Super Monolophosaurus. Again, you know, <laughs> all these Super Wind Dinosaurs have rock crits. So, puts place in them will, will be quite easy, actually. Super Monolophosaurus. Yeah, I think it edges out the Eutoraptor. High A. Not really much to say. Okay, now for Super Sign Raptor. Again, <laughs> again, not much to say, to be honest. Edges out Super Mono. Would I say it edges out the Carno? No. And I do mean that. Because I think Carno is an absolute beat. All right. Now for the fun bit. Now. Now for the one you've all been waiting for. The might of the Mega Raptor. Mega Raptor, Mega Raptor, Mega Raptor. Where to put you? Let's, let's compare it to Uteraptor because Megaraptor also has attack type vari variant like the Uteraptor and it has a crit AP. And if we look at the stats here, Megaraptor definitely packs more of a punch than Uteraptor. Megaraptor is better than you is a better Uteraptor in my opinion. And it actually has the highest crit out of all the wind dinosaurs if you use the lethal type one. And it actually has the second highest crit in the game. Third highest crit actually behind the T-Rex and the Tijongosaurus. So, it's one of three dinosaurs whose crit can actually, actually surpasses 1,000. Well, it's 1,000, it counts. Megaraptor also has good technique, you know, for a, for a gold anyway. It has half decent technique, I should say. As I said, it's basically Uteraptor, but better. It has counter type, which, you know, would have been really good. If Megaraptor had a scissors crit, it would just be S tier. It would really be S tier. Because it has counter type, which would have massive synergy with Hurricane Beat, attack type, and lethal type. It would just it would just be S tier. It would be an S tier dinosaur. The fact that it has a paper crit though definitely helps it as well. Don't be don't get me wrong. It has decent versatility. And I would say, and <laughs> this might sound biased, is it better than Super Ace and Super Sarah? Oh, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. I'm gonna put it over there. I, I genuinely think Megaraptor is an absolute beast in this game. It is such a good dinosaur. And well, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this win tier list. Were there any surprises? Were, did any dinosaurs surprise you? I, I'm sure Pianitskisaurus definitely surprised a lot of people. Were you surprised by what went into S tier? Were you surprised by the dinosaurs that weren't so good? Ow, my leg. I felt my leg bone like pop out of place then, ow. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed and don't think this is the end of the tier lists because next time we are going to do all the secret dinosaurs, which shouldn't take too long. In fact, I can probably record it after this session. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.